Wake, Wake up, up with the all-new B Morning Coffee Club on 92.5 WBEE. What kind of dynamic will be put in place for the usual uh, detention-worthy acts committed what? by children? Have you thought about this? Do you have this planned out yet, parents? Uh, 222 WBEE. <laughs> I mean, detention was always on the brain when I went to school. Oh. How to get out of it, what not to do to get it, stuff like that. So what happens when you're homeschooled? Can you tell them to clean the toilet or <laughs> or take out the garbage or mow the lawn for something mm. that they would normally get in trouble for for doing in school? Is there a separation? We're looking to you because... Why are you looking at me? I, gotta, I, don't, I, I still got to get a backpack. Like I haven't thought through any of this. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with that kid. And we all know the one I'm going to have a difficult disciplinary time with. Um, I only have one child, and that's my son, having three days a week at home. Wow, that's more at home than at school. Yes. <laughs> That's it what I mean. Is is um, uh, you know, just shutting off Wi-Fi is always my go-to. But and I shut it off from the breaker down in the basement. That's the, I don't just shut off. I shut off that whole wall. That's the access to school, though. So if you shut the Wi-Fi off, no school. Right. Right. So now what? That's what I mean. Have parents thought about this yet? Have I mean? What What do you do to your to your kid who's well, misbehaving do you do you give them the punishment you would normally give them if they did something bad after school at home i feel like i should probably separate it i don't know why like i should make it a separate just school right related sure disciplinary action as opposed to you know i told you not to do that and yeah you did it anyways yep. now you're losing this or that. <laughs> so first, you're going to go to your room for an hour for school, and then you're going to stay there for another hour. I know. <laughs> that's oh. that's tough. Are you going to sit with him? Yes. Well, at first, yes. And probably most of the time. So you're I, gonna, I mean, I have to. Yeah. He's never going to stay on task. This is insane. Yeah. <laughs> He's eight. He will never stay on task. Yeah. He will get right out of that and be in his room doing something else. And I'm thinking he's going to school and he's not. I'm not sure what they do now, but you know, when I picture, I don't know why, when I picture getting in trouble at school and getting punished, I picture like Bart Simpson and the opening theme of the Simpsons (laughs) where he's writing on the chalkboard, the same sentence over and over and over and over and over again. (laughs) (laughs) Do you remember any, anything you had to write or has it been too long? I will stop talking. (laughs) I will not talk. I will listen. I will pay attention. I mean, any version of that theme I wrote. (laughs) And it, it all it normally for typical kids it would start at fifteen maybe twenty times. Mm-hmm. There were six chalkboards in my classroom because two walls. I would I would often have to fill up an entire <laughs> wall with it. I mean it took me forever and then wash the chalkboard and then clap the erasers. Uh, yeah, I'm that kid. And then wash down where the chalk went. So I had to create the mess. Mm -hmm. And then clean the mess. And then I could go home. And I was all full of white dust all over my uniform. So my parents knew I had gotten in trouble again. You know what? And I'm still waiting for a lawyer's ad to be like, did you have to clap together Uh. the chalk? (laughs) Studies have shown that ingesting that chalk off the Gives you mesothelioma. Yeah, that's right. Call us now. Yes, that's right. (laughs) Wow. TJ, Terry, and that new guy, Chris Kanye. It's the all-new B Morning Coffee Club on Rochester's new country, 92.5 WBEE.